for review this week is voted by you, Wild Seder. Her white, active skill, Party Crasher, shoots a magic dart from her pan flute at the foe with the lowest health percentage, stunning them for two seconds. The dart also does two stars worth of magic damage and an additional 240 magic damage for every 1% health remaining that the foe has. Guaranteed to stun a foe, skill level or lower. Has the magic damage trait and the piercing damage trait. This is a unique skill and a complete oxymoron, targeting the lowest health percentage while also benefiting from higher percentage health is mind bogglingly stupid. This has the potential of being a very hard hitting skill similar to unstable understudies punch out but falls flat behind convoluted gimmicks. Stun is always something I appreciate but it has more value lower in levels especially at the listed duration. I rate this as a 3 star skill. Her green skill mosh pit. Sends a volley of darts at three unsuspecting foes and heals all allies. Each dart does one star's worth of magic damage and will heal allies 1,331.95 health plus 10% of damage done. Has the magic damage trait and the piercing damage trait. This is probably my favorite heal in the game, which isn't saying very much. Most are very generic. But I love an attack that also heals and heals everyone. It does have the potential drawback of missing diminishing its potential, but it's not something that really matters often. You don't always need a heal, but you always need an attack. I rate this as a 4 star skill. Her blue skill, Prairie Oyster. After a hard night of partying, Seder keeps morale high with this concoction. Her max health is boosted by 12,000, has no traits. This is a recording. Stats as skills are a waste, even if they are useful. I rate this as a 1 star skill. Her purple skill, out on the town, dancing through the night, the satyr's nimble magical hooves grant her 240 magic resistance. Has no traits. This is a recording. Stats as skills are a complete waste, even if they are useful. I rate this as a one-star skill. Her orange, legendary skill, soothing melody. Wild satyr's basic attacks now heal her for shown points and have a 49.59% chance to stun her target for one second. Has no traits. This skill is unlocked when you promote to orange and then do three quests. Like Dark Horse, these quests have changed, but I believe I caught them post-change this time. Quest 1, Pitch Imperfect. Sacrifice 1, Purifying Tuning Fork. This used to be 5 Magic Mirrors, I believe, which makes this magnitudes easier. This item still requires some elusive items, but ultimately isn't very difficult. Quest 2, Throwing Money at a Problem. Give away 1 million gold. Depending on where you are in the game dictate how draining this is, but ultimately, it's relatively easy. Quest 3, a piece of my soul. Give away 25 soul stones. This is an expedition item on server 3, which made this quest very easy. On server 10, it is not, and my satyr isn't even 5 starred. This falls on both sides of the scale. Sadly, where I use this hero most, I will struggle to finish this easily. This is a very nice skill that does wonders for her survivability, which is an issue prior to legendary while at the same time adding almost nothing of real value. The stun duration is too short to have any real effect. I rate this as a 3 star skill. Wild Satyr's suggested runes are Tree for plus 15% health, Rock for plus 30% armor, and Mist for plus 40% magic resist. Tank could be interesting, but I prefer Tree and Ocean for plus 25% skill power, which affects both attacks and her legendary. Her optimal keystone stats should be Intellect, magic penetration, and accuracy. Her optimal major primary should be skill power, with health as a secondary if possible. Her optimal minor primary should be magic penetration. For tertiary stats, cap her improved healing, which is 500%, cap her conservation, which is 50%, and cap her cooldown reduction, which is also 50%. Expertise is very important to her. I value her heal. If you do not, use this instead as a primary. Longer disable, Fury and Accuracy are of value. Lifesteal, while not technically useless, basically is useless with her Legendary. Where do I use Wild Seder? I do use her in Boss Pit on Orem Stage 3, and she's actually quite effective there. I do not use her in Titan Temple on either server. I do not use her in Colosseum on Server 3, but I do on Server 10. I do not use her in Fight Pit on either server. I do not use her in Expedition on either server. I do use her in War but primarily as a sacrifice for crabs. Even on server 10, she has little other value here. On server 10, she is in a lineup with Megator, uh, Skill Power DPS, and Moondrake. 
I don't use her often on server 3, except as a sacrifice, either for crabs or to stay ahead of Aquatic Man. She teams up well with Moondrake, boosting her damage, healing, and already considerable magic resistance. I don't have any real heavy thoughts on how to counter her. She doesn't really have a specific weakness, but also doesn't really need to be specifically targeted either. We Witch to sabotage her mosh pit is about as far as I ever go. This is a fairly unimpressive hero. Her skill set is shallow because of two wasted skill slots. Her attack is too gimmicky and of course stupid. Mosh pit is her best skill. She did use to walk too far forward, but her legendary makes her suitably durable. The problem is keeping her alive longer is just keeping a fairly unimpressive skill set alive longer. She is essentially an uncredited tank. Overall, I rate Wild Seder as a 2 star hero. She is a serviceable hero who does have her uses, but ultimately adds nothing except standing in front of your back line, and there are far better options for that. I really want to like this hero. Her two skills are really interesting, and if you have a spot for her, she's okay. But if you skip her, you won't be missing much. Thank you for watching. I welcome your comments. What do you think of this hero? You're also welcome to rate and subscribe. Be sure to check out my Twitter in the first 24 hours to have your vote on who I review next as well as Discord and Patreon, which are all in the description. Now perhaps, more videos? You know you want to.